VSA Foundation's mission is to help build a better Boston by engaging communities, inspiring vision, and provoking positive change. The first goal is to provide access to design education for every child in the region. The second is to provide design resources to help communities solve the challenges that they face. And the third is really to have an impact on the policies that shape this city and to provide the opportunity for communities and neighborhoods to shape how they're solving some of the city's challenges around issues like housing, climate change, and resiliency, and urban design. Hello. Oh, that's okay. So welcome to Fort Point Channel. This is a picture looking at Boston about a hundred years ago or so. Today we have rising ninth grade girls from Boston Public Schools coming to work on a real challenge that's facing Boston, to tackle the Northern Avenue Bridge, which the mayor has just committed $40 million for its rebuild. So we wanted to bring students down to the bridge to really think about what they would like to see. At the end of this project, all of the girls' ideas, their designs, their sketches, their models are all gonna be shared with the mayor's task force who has been assigned to determine the future of the bridge. So basically, we could make three stories. Like the top would be the walkway, the middle would be like family businesses, stores, because it would benefit everybody too. Something at the bottom, there would be like a garden, just to walk through, enjoy yourselves. Maybe like we thought that we could add like murals or something of like the town before, when the old bridge was there. The purpose of our program, Apprentice Learning, is to engage first, the first step in learning. And clearly today, it's been a wonderful engagement. In the summer, we work with female students in particular. So seeing women and hearing about their stories, their careers is really important. It's a really exciting opportunity that we have with this group. They're young women who are transitioning from middle school to high school. It's a great time to connect with them and hopefully act in some ways as, as mentors, as inspiration. Working with the Boston Society of Architects Foundation has been a really fantastic partnership because it's been an opportunity to use hands-on learning, to use critical and creative thinking, um, to incorporate those design elements in a real-world way um, that really benefits our students as they start thinking about their own careers and post-secondary choices. And then we could make it as like a community art space, and this is some art. And then we have a hot dog stand and an ice cream shop. The design process has all those skills that they're going to need to navigate the world. What I hope the girls will take away today is seeing the world around them and how they have a voice and they can affect the world positively. When we talk about engaging communities, I immediately think about the BSA space, our exhibition gallery. That's just one way, such an important way for us to bring the public into the discussion of the power of design. So the exhibition we did here uh, for the BSA Foundation looked at timber construction and the idea of timber as a sustainable building product. We were fortunate to be asked to bring that exhibition and modify it slightly for a more national audience in Washington at the National Building Museum. They used that exhibition and the content that we uh, developed here for the BSA Foundation exhibition uh, to bring senators, senator aides, to affect policy, farm bills, um, and understand the benefits of timber on a national level. Reprogramming the city looked at how the existing structures, surfaces, and systems of the city can be used for multiple purposes to increase the capacity of what we already have in the city. We looked at how everything from stairways to bus stops can be used for multi-purposes. Because going forward, resourcefulness is really the key ingredient, I think, that, that cities can learn from. 
people were really quite inspired by it. I, it. It resulted in me addressing the World Bank about reprogramming the city, about how an idea like this could really be used in other cities. And I think it's really something that the BSA Foundation can take great pride in, in that this idea, which eventually went all over the world, began here at the BSA space. What we wanted to do through the Wimmer Mansion exhibit is establish a history in the broader global context of how uh, compact living is a very accepted and very successful way of living around the world. The Wimmer Mansion exhibit has led to the development of the new compact living policy that the city has just passed. So I think the BSA Foundation and the One Room Mansion exhibit played a very important role of engaging the public in rethinking the idea of square footage in how we live. In Boston, we're experiencing extreme growth, which is great for our economy, but that also means that there's a lot of pressure on our housing stock. We're expected to be over 700,000 by 2030, and we need places to put these new residents. Designing Boston is a series that the BSA Foundation puts on that deals with current issues in architecture and planning that could have the potential to have a really big impact in the greater Boston area. Recently, we discussed accessory dwelling units, which are also known as granny flats, additional dwelling units, and it's sort of an old concept that's new again in a way that it allows people to age in place, to live intergenerationally, and also can be used as a mechanism to create more affordable housing. An example of an ADU in Boston might be a basement unit, converting your existing space into a new unit for a new family that could live there, or an attic unit. In other communities outside of Boston, backyard homes are also a great example of ADUs. The BSA Foundation has been an incredible partner throughout the Additional Dwelling Unit program. They're a convener, they bring together groups of different stakeholders to help problem solve and think creatively about how to make a better policy. The event was a chance to share ideas and talk about some of the innovations that are going on across the country and, and here in Boston. And I think that was a real wake-up call for, for a lot of people to realize that there are a lot of restrictions against these accessory dwelling units and tiny houses. And the action was pretty clear, which was to say to your town or city, um, hey, we really ought to change these outdated rules so we can open up this wonderful housing. We all really want Boston to be a place that is creative, a place that's resilient, a place that's healthy for all of our residents. This is our city, this is our region. When we all work together, we can have an impact. The design and construction industry is a powerful force within the city of Boston. The BSA Foundation provides a venue for bringing us all together to really have an impact.